Understanding Length of Service, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a commonly used phrase in the English language, length of service. This phrase is important in various contexts, especially in the workplace. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means and how to use it correctly. So, let's dive in. Length of service refers to the total time an individual has been employed by a company or an organization. It's a measure of how long someone has worked in a particular place. This phrase is often used in discussions about employee benefits, rewards, or recognition. For example, an employee with a longer length of service might receive more vacation days. Understanding and using length of service correctly is important because it 1. Recognizes commitment. It acknowledges the dedication and loyalty of an employee. 2. Impacts benefits. Often, employee benefits like leave, bonuses, or pensions are linked to their length of service. 3. Is key in workplace discussions. Whether it's for promotions, retirements, or evaluations, this term frequently comes up. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. Jane celebrated her 10th length of service anniversary with the company last week. The company offers additional health benefits to employees based on their length of service. During his 20 years of length of service, he has contributed significantly to our team. It's important not to confuse length of service with performance level. It doesn't necessarily reflect the quality of work. Seniority, it's about time spent in the company, not the rank or position. I hope this video has helped clarify what length of service means and why it's a valuable term in the English language, especially in professional settings. Remember, it's all about the duration of one's employment. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English. Until next time, goodbye and happy learning!